Well, Goofy, it appears we're at a standstill. Yeah, Murray doesn't want to come back. Uh, yeah, welcome back to uh, I'm Honor Among Fiends. Yeah, sorry, we had some random discussions. We're not going to go into detail. I'm sorry, is this so, the Imaginarium edition of Sly Cooper? No. But welcome to uh, our big mission of this, which is, again, as you can clearly tell, our main villain is Don, Octa Don Octavio, Octavio, whatever. You see, and the heist need... is very simple. We break into Octavio's hideout and steal every peppy that we find. I want every I desk on my desk. And roll out and party. roll out every and roll out every barrel from the premises so he doesn't have any drinks for, for his concert. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> no we need to pizza, basically we no need, drink. We need to stop the we need to stop all the oil pollution. That's our job. Welcome to Operation Green. And why and suddenly we're back. Why are we here again? It, st it starts us here. It says you want, but I want to show this off because this, this has some funny dialogue in it. All right, let's just right, let's okay. I'm really gonna test your climbing skills here. Oh boy! You can use your you sound like you're enjoying this, family. Just jump and press the circle button. Well, you have off. no idea. No, but there are, there are some fun. There are some. Benley gets freaking like brutal in this game. He's a yeah, devious yeah, little turtle. Is, I hear that. Press this is probably him in his most passive aggressive. I mean, how would you react to losing control of your legs? <laughs> okay, that's right, that's right. I mentioned I was going to do a controversial opinion. I actually outright think that Bentley is far more <laughs> mobile with a wheelchair than he ever was in the second game with legs. You're not the only one to make that assumption, dude. You, you call that controversial? I just say, I just think you're, I just call that being right. He's just far, he's so, oh, by the way, the wall hooks are back from Canada, but no, it's like he's just far more versatile Without his legs. Yeah, I mean that, that wheelchair can do just about anything. Even make toast. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kinda tricky. Oh. Jesus fuck. He he takes great pride into his little devious inventions. Oh, speaking of here comes the give me a chance to he didn't even give me a chance to activate the explosives on the wall. Anyway, oh, yeah. here's the next big thing I love, is that we're going to learn how to do the old fighting, but just watch the dialogue, I love this. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Right. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Okay. Yeah. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. It keeps you alive. Right. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. I know. Sounds easy. Hey, hang on. Prove it. I'm going to have this guard attack you. And you'll have to Wait. run away to lose him. Well, hold up. Ready, set, go. Oh, jeez. Oh. That move. Oh. <laughs> I like one, eight. two, ten. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just love that. And... Ready or not, here I come. Oh, we already lost him. Well, yeah, he dropped a... Bentley dropped the box in him after we were done. Ouch. Oh, and I love this. And I love this other dialogue. Just listen to how he says this. Not this part, but after we learn that we now have to run past them and get them to get upset at us. Alright, ready? Thank Just you. listen. Come on. Ready? Set go. Ready? <laughs> oh, it's time to move. Well, he said he was going to work you to the bone. Oh! Stop it! <laughs> Come on! Those pesky flashlights. Badly, hurry and drop the boxes! Box. Thank you. Nope. Okay, he got the boxes. Kind of think of it. How did Bentley get these guards in the first place? Yeah. Oh. Wait. He tranquilized them. And just dragged their dragged their comatose bodies all over here. So yeah, now we have to uh, do the old pickpocket thing, which that is actually we'll get to that a bit. But that's another big thing this game added is um, the three main characters you control: Sly, Bentley, and Murray. They now all have ways you can pickpocket guards, and they're pretty fucking amusing. Very convenient. It's funny. And it's funny because like the way Bentley does it is the old fishing hook trick, and Murray he literally just picks him up and shakes him on the album, <laughs> like a fucking like schoolyard bully. Bro, it's not brain. Mom, he picked me up with his mom powers and shook me like a dog. <gasps> Where am I? This is not Mama's house. Yeah. This is not and, Mama's oh, yeah, wife. Oh, oh, and this is another new thing that the game adds. It's very situational, but you can just push buttons to activate little traps around the place. Which I mean, sounds funny. It, I just, I just never, I never do it though. It's almost never really useful. 
Can we push button to receive a fist? There is one mission. <laughs> there, there, there's, there's like one mission that is useful. Oh, by the way, here I'm gonna show off the. Uh, I'm gonna show off how ben, how Bentley pickpockets. Well, first of all, he has that you new. He has that new. Fucking blow them up to smithereens. Dude, well, well, that's how he does it now. Chair is pretty sweet. Hang on. Got any other gizmos in there? As you can see, I'm just kind of jumping around unless I see something unique or funny. He said PPP. He said fishing. So yeah, you have to use the L1 button. It's a little finicky, but if a guard is moving, you actually can just stay still and they'll move out and they'll pick their pockets for you. Yeah, trade it, trade in one, you can trade it. Trade off one thing for another. It's Dude. pretty. It's still pretty handy. That is how you're saying we should talk. Actually, what we're doing is this thing we should talk about. So, hi, you have a lot of experience with this game? Oh yeah, I've played it. Oh, first. Yeah. yeah he's also. He's, oh, he's always he's angry. So angry. He served his purpose. He's always so Ouch. angry. Ouch. And that's yeah, all we. That's he all. He served his purpose, purpose and now we shall kill him. him. I like that's how their hideout is covered he in will, pizza boxes. He will never enjoy Mama yeah. sauce ever again. Rats. Too much pizza. Oh, I mean, yeah, I meant, to say, I meant to mean say spaghetti sauce, you fucking weirdos. Fitness <laughs> operation. But I know, this, this thing actually has one of the best double jumps in the business. I mean, when you got a jetpack, <laughs> touch your thing. Yeah, that said, that said yeah, Bentley, Bentley at least tries to keep himself in shape by actually <laughs> manually pull, like <laughs> operating the wheels. Yeah. Oh my god, does yeah. he try? Uh, it works, and uh... Again, once I get the, it's not gonna be until I think the third level, but not nah, yeah, it's not gonna be until I get to the third level. But once I get the fully upgraded jetpack thing, he is quite a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, just the dumbest thought just occurred in my head while Carmelie is dropping like the ignition's all. That's pretty much what it looks like, <laughs> like an old-fashioned, old-fashioned steamboat. I mean, all things considered, don't you remember that uh, Shaquille O'Neal film Steel? Yes. Yeah. Remember how like uh, one of the main characters had like a super-powered wheelchair that shot yeah. like rockets? And nostalgia could it, yeah, nostalgia could it was like just this a... movie was about the wrong person. Exactly. Seriously. Yeah, I was about to say just to just to give you context, James. Steel is a character from the Superman comics, and one of the very first. Maybe not very first, but one of the very early attempts of DC trying to make their own movies, and mm. it wasn't particularly good. They cast Shaquille I mean, O'Neal. Well, gotta start from somewhere. It was, it was an attempt. I just don't know why they thought Steel would be the big one and not like well, any they of the probably, more recognizable one. Well, they probably wanted to get Superman, but they couldn't afford the rights, so they just went with Steel. Which Steel is a perfectly fine character in his own right. It's just that, yeah, it's not quite as marketable. Not to mention you know the one thing that I love. Time. And you know one thing that I love this game loves to do to drag to drag the pacing along is having turrets that have cool that have like freaking cooldown timers. And, and health yeah. bars health bars that don't go down fast enough. Yeah, no, this this game actually is gonna play a lot with health bars and uh, so it's like I have fond memories of this game and playing it was still perfectly fine, but I guess I don't think it's aged the best and having played it I now notice some of those more glaring things. Yeah. James, what is your stance on this game? It's not a bad... It's not... Like, as a game itself, it's not bad. It's it's pretty... It's still pretty decent, but as a Sly game, it's definitely a step down from Sly 2. Oh, by Which the way, Ben is gets so intense Sly 2 driving. had the problem of repeating <sighs> set pieces. <laughs> well, even so, I, I still think they handle pretty well. It's just I that... I do, I do feel like, I guess, in terms of a nice, consistent plot, I think the second one did it the best. Oh, agreed. What do you think about this game, Mickey? Have you ever played the third game? I actually have not. Like I said, the only Sly game I've ever had any physical experience with was um, the Sly 2 demo with Jack 2. That's right. That's right. It's fair that it came with that. Hmm. Well, hey, look at it this way. At least you get to, get to have a fresh get, get a fresh view of this game through us. I guess so. Benley is super gay. Benley is laying on the judgment fierce today. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's mighty pissed about his loss of leg. He's he's a force to be reckoned with. So Even yeah, more so let's on go the back. Yes, yeah, so let's go back and buy ourselves. <laughs> and some then he got his worst enemy ever. Stairs. Stairs. <laughs> and I love how Sly. And I love how Sly is just like chilling. Like 
when you go when you go over there, Sly kicks up his legs like, oh my legs are so tired from walking. Ha ha ha! Very funny, Sly. No, Bentley just like slowly chews on like his slice of pizza while like, giving a death glare to Sly. <laughs> <I> just <laughs> imagining. You know what I'm imagining the face that he's making? I'm not gonna put it up. I don't care. Oh, and by the way, there you go, James. I bought smoke bomb. It's useful. Thank you. But anyway, uh, no, I'm not going to put up, but the face I imagine Bentley making as he chews his pizza is the same face that Yoshi made in that one awkward zombie comic when he read the fortune cookie telling him that Mario's going to drop him down a ledge. And just a... (laughs) You show me that one after the uh, part, because I don't think I remember that one. Yeah, I'll show it to you after work, but, um... Oh, boy. Watch out for them hipster pigeons. Are they wearing Ed's jacket? It looks like Ed's jacket. It looks like it. It's also got like the red and white <laughs> striped <laughs> undershirt. Oh, that happens perfect. sometimes. Perfect. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens sometimes. That's smoke. It happens sometimes with the animations. Oh, it's if only we had luck that golden in slide two. It's literally. That's actually the thumbnail for this image accident. This video accidentally. <laughs> it's the little. Make sure it's the thumbnail for the finished part. Fine. It's it's something. Okay. So, we and need to go... Control. Oh, that's and right. Uh, up ahead, we're going to get to the other most unnecessarily weird thing this game added. But more on that when we get to it. So, we need to break into Octavio's hideout. And we got to break into his supercomputer. So that we can know what I what we need to do. And God, do I miss the paraglider. <laughs> Me too. We'll get it uh, back thank, later, thank, but... Well, thank, thankfully, they give it to you pretty early on. Like, I want to say either next episode mission. 2 or... Yeah, episode 2. What? Yep. Remember How Spy Kids 3? Yeah. Packaged with Sly 3 Thanks. Icky came, I think, 1 to 2 stereoscopic 3D glasses. Does it still work in the HD version of the game? No, they they didn't. But they, and thankfully the shit's optional. Yeah, I love this 3D technology. Do you want it? No. Oh, okay, we can see it anyway. So yeah, back to you, Hype. What do you think about it? Um, to open this door, I like. To press the oh, but you're also gonna come across these sections as well, where you have to press the buttons at the same time. It can be a little tricky. But onto slide three itself, I like it just fine. I still think two is my favorite of the trilogy. But that being said, there is a lot that I do like about three. Like, like for example, I do like the little updates it does for the three main characters. Like particularly, you, uh, obviously Bentley's mobility and giving him and Murray the ability to pickpocket. Like I think I, I think those guys, I like how they are in three compared to two. Um, I honestly am fine with the. We already mentioned it. I'm honestly fine with the additional characters that they have. Like, I mean, the characters I get the are... arguments. I was Go about ahead. to say, I Sorry. get the arguments that people have about them, like, from a gameplay standpoint. Like, I'm not going to pretend they're wrong, but I don't think it's quite as, like, offensive as everyone makes it out to be. It's not offensive, it's just, it just feels a little redundant at the end of the day. But as far as their characterizations are concerned, I will agree. I think they are, they're perfectly fine. Just a little case, just a little contextually, whatever fact, the word is. So that being said, I will say, I know this is a little, some might consider this controversial, I do think... If I were to say between the two, I think these and time had a slight had a gameplay variety that I think was a little more consistent with the overall tone tone of Sly. If that means anything, I can see I that a bit need more. To play that game in it, spite of what hate against. Don't 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 entirely take what the naysayers say. It is it is a pretty decent follow up. Just the story's kind of stupid. The story's odd. It turns one of my favorite characters from this game into just ugh. Yeah, that that I, that no I still motivation. Hate. If I had the choice character. between the two of you... <laughs> it just was not... It was. It could have been done so much better. And and of course the fact that it had a Mega Man Legends 2-esque... Actually, almost straight down to it. A Mega Man Legends 2-esque cliffhanger mm-hmm. that, once again, will never be resolved. Nope. Unless Sony decided... Oh. Oh, ah, ah! Trigger points always... Water bad, up. it too cold and for right. raccoon. And yeah, so I if I... So if I so if I pick this, if I pick the 3D, this would all kind of look black and whitish because that's how they got around it. And I mean, I wore the glasses. The glasses, it does work decently enough, but like it doesn't pop out from your screen. And more just like it's like the 3DS. It kind of gives depth to it. Mm. Yeah, but you still have but, to wear. Um, you still have to wear those gaudy old red and blue 3D goggles, which are thankfully obsolete now. 
<laughs> yep. Yeah. But also, and, and I'm assuming in the Ooh. HD remaster, they just completely voided these out and you just start them normally. Yeah, they they voided it completely. And uh, oh, and I will say uh, one other thing is, um, actually, in terms of the combat, they added a new feature, which is if you hit the triangle button. At any point in time, your cane will actually charge up with energy, and if you push square, X, or uh, circle, circle, you will yeah. do you will do a, a very a variation of three attacks: a shove forward, a jump a, a jump up attack in the air, or a spin. So a charge attack. If you, uh, actually, if you, it's uh, you got it wrong. It's a shove, a spin, and an uppercut. Okay, an uppercut. And when you power it up fully, it can one shot normal mooks. Huh. Well, it can, that's good. Really. It's, though that being said, I th wish the game would did a did a better job of explaining that. But again, yeah. that's probably what the reference uh, for. You buy upgrades in the shop. You can learn about it there. Mm -hmm. On it, Bentley. What was I saying? I was saying something about the 3D. Oh, the other the other issue I have with the 3D is that there's going to be a mission much later on where you have to shoot down something of a particular color. But when you have it all in 3D. They're all the same color. What, yeah. yeah. It's very hard to tell what the color is, so it suddenly becomes a problem. Just, yeah. 3D is nothing more than an illusion, kids. It's really a gimmick. That they're, this illusion, game they're an illusion much like pants. Bless it's, bless it's hard. It tries with the freaking gimmick, but yeah, it's. Thank God it's optional. Now, why is it called pants plural when it's literally a single item? I don't know. Why is it. I don't know. Why, why, are this, why is the. Why is the singular and plural term for moose the exact same double damn word? To be fair, to be fair, you do need two legs to fill them. Jeez, oh, jeez. Why Ooh. can't why, why can you tune a piano but not tune a fish? Why do our feet smell but if they don't have a nose? <laughs> we ask the we ask the important questions here on James Man Channel. We like to have fun here. What's the truth? Come up with an official Sla name for us. Hey Bentley. We do need Bentley. to come up with a name. What's what do we call? Bentley, what's the true purpose of the circle button? Circle button. It's contextual. Co it's sensitive to context. <laughs> I had a feeling it was gonna go right to that. Also, yeah, what the hell do we call ourselves? I just having an existential crisis here. What the heck do we call ourselves? Uh, the schmucks. I guess we do call ourselves the schmucks, but like we have like a. It's more of a personal uh, thing, though. We never really outright blurred it on our channel, so. We just we just do things. Yeah. We just have these. We just get these urges. We're not we're, we're not professionals, like say, Project Plays or SGP, anything like that. We're not in uh, we have, uh, Oh yeah, we have to fight a bunch of people here, and I'm gonna save you guys a lot of time in that. I think I only show off one of these phases, I think. Actually, no, I'm kind of had an eye on I actually show off all three phases. Okay, you have to right. fight people to, you have to fight uh, the feet. I was preparing to fast athlete. forward. Hey, Sly, watch me play, watch me play a mean, mean... <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's not, it's not Ed's jacket. He has a black and white striped uh, shirt. Yeah, anyway. Start, yeah. Sly, watch me play some mean chopsticks. <laughs> that is so weird. It's a, it's a, it's a musical keyboard. How to... How do, how do you type? You can only you can only use the letters A through G. Why is it called chopsticks? Oof, careful. Because you use two fingers and it's two notes almost all the time, so they, I guess the joke is that you could play with chopsticks. I, don't know. I mean, you know, you want to know what else has two things? Um, oh, there you go. Legs. We have two thumbs. Yeah, we have a lot of two things, Icky. We have two eyes. We have two nostrils. You have two eyes, Icky. You you have to. Nah, I should say that. This is a this is a kid or kids oriented channel. Is it? Lies. Oh, he just ran. Okay. Can <laughs> I was we all about just to say it's like. So it's like he has two, he and James have two eyes. Me and Logan have four. I have two uh, pickles. I have two pickles. I have two pickles. Hey, you know what the sad hey, irony? Hey, you know the sad irony is Bentley. Oh, you say that. You say that though. But yet Bentley only has two eyes. No, he has four. Of Miraculously, we're not going to be found out, even though we were right in here with an alarm and guards dying left and right. Let's just be on our way. I'm seeing uh, a double. Uh, two e Bentleys. Uh, no, uh, four you're Bentleys. Bentley, I mean, Bentley only, has, Bentley only has two eyes. We, didn't, we never see anything past his glasses. Mm. They tried to do that. I can only think of like two occasions where they actually do try to give him eyes. One of them is a cutscene in Sly Four. They give him like little, has, bead like, little beady eyes. eyes. And then the other one is for that, um, un is for that 
movie that is still turning into a show. I, they've been kind of quiet about that, but that trailer for the not movie where they actually gave him eyes. Yeah, actually, yeah, he actually did have eyes. They weren't like. What would you call that in his glasses? Is that supposed to be his eyes closed? Yeah. Or is that just like the sheen of his glasses? I, I always interpret it as his eyes were closed. Probably. So he's kind of like Brock. Helping out the cops. Basically. I always thought I, I always thought he looks kind of weird in the fourth game, where like he's just a solid color palette. Yeah, well, I kind of prefer it that way compared more, to this. They went with a more comic honest. style. And, oh, honestly, with honestly with the PS2 art style, it just makes Hold Bradley look like he has wrinkles. Yes. Okay. So I mean, well, or, or really or really detailed dimples. <gasps> I mean, you say it's despicable, but why is there an oil fountain? Why is there a valve right next to the fountain that would divert oil there? Maybe he built it. That sounds like that sounds like that sounds like something you should take up with the city community. Like, I feel like I feel like community. it's something. I get the feeling he probably sabotaged it. Oh, I love this. Uh, okay. Listen closely while he walks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to get. He'll do it, but I just don't want to be close enough to him. Does he sing while he walks? Yeah, he does. <laughs> it's an, it's basically another Dimitri tailing mission, only this time it's with a lion. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it... He, re he, he rehearses and warms <laughs> up. Nice. Me, me, yeah, we need me. To use our binoc yeah, we have to use our Benaki Khan. It's all about me! A Haunted Mansion <laughs> reference. We need to use our Benaki Khan to take photos of him. My favorite stuff. part of me is that there are so many of me. Position. And I do want to say one thing about this mission. Um, I don't know how Logan's gonna do it, but there's always one part of the mission where I always, Ooh, uh, whenever I go through, oh, it, always inconspicuous. Find it. Inconspicuous. Gonna have to put do it some else. This ain't gonna cut it. Better hurry too, cause he's almost do he's almost done. Nice. That's just that's just that just seems irresponsible. That seems irresponsible of your resources, Octavio. Anyway, what's up, pipe? I was about to say, um, there's going to be one point later where he's at the back of a building and you technically, this is how I think you're supposed to do it. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I think you're supposed to like get on one of the boats that are flying by to like take the picture. Whenever Come I on, do dude. it, it would always God see me it. like right Love afterwards. It. And it's, I was about to say, he would always see me like right as I'm like on the boat and the boat just like flying by. Thankfully, once you take the picture, uh, it okay. registers God. it as I you don't have it. to retake it again. Huh. Uh, I will say I died at one point because I missed the boat for that part. <laughs> I, I'm gonna do a quick crossfade cut when I get that right. But I do. Uh, but yeah, I did have to do the boat method. That's how I. Oh, oh hello! <laughs> Thank goodness his peripheral oh, vision isn't. I'll blame it on his opera mask. His bad peripheral vision. But, yeah. Um, you know, I, mean, I forgot not, if I brought it up here or not. No, I forgot if I already brought it up in slide two. But where is everybody aside from the mob? They're all in hiding. Because it, basically, Don Octavio is pretty much taken over the town. He runs the place. Yeah, but that's pretty like the case for every single level in these games. They always run well, the place. Uh, that's just how okay, it is. Icky, would you honestly want to be out and about living in a place like Prague? No, yeah, here's, here's I'd rather live in Venice, about, like, to be honest. Oh, this is all. This I also remember being fucking devious of what he's doing. He's flooding the water wheel. Is yeah, he? Well, or like, not, every or not time, the... like. Sorry, oh, here we go. So that's I how was just I gonna say it. that was the moment right there where it's like he will always like turn around and he'll always see me right before I pass by and it's kind of funny like when he sees you he'll kind of like taunt you and it's like he's taunting you right as you're fly dry flying away on the boat. <laughs> it's like a zero camera move. There, like, this game it has some good programming to it, but there this game can have a few buggy parts of it. Yeah, it, it, by this point you could sort of tell that Sucker Punch was starting to lose steam when, the, when developing this game. Yeah, and what, mm -hmm. have, what have they done besides the Infamous series? Uh, they're doing uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, huh. that's right. Which, I mean, is a far cry from this. Yeah. But otherwise, I can't think of anything else Sucker Punch has been, really been doing. Yeah, they haven't oh, actually, Okay, so as, as I was trying to say earlier, I, I actually got my, um, I actually got my, uh, got my vows wrong. This is the one I think he does that's the most fucking devious. Hang on. Oh, I remember. I don't know why you. I don't know why you side with them on their plight, but yeah, I know what you're talking well, about. Well, to be there. fair, it is. To be fair, even if I'm not really siding with them, it's just that it's a poor waste of livestock. What's he doing here? And you'll see. You see, you're like, wait, where do these pipes connect to? Good momento. The pipes connect to the aquarium. The aquarium. Fish tank. Hey, mama. 
And Icky can't believe it. He can't even see it. But that's... That's fucked up. It's like, ah, oh, and it's, the thing's gonna get all dirty, and some poor Joe's gonna have to clean all that up. Oh, no, Wait a Freddy second. Fish, Freddy he's, Fish was in there. He's polluting <sighs> the aquarium? aquarium. Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. yeah, he's polluting the fish tank. Why? Because he's because he's an asshole like that. That's literally all he is. He's doing this what all the fish ever do to you. Yeah, he, it's because he's completely different. But for some reason, I'm flashing back to the episode of Justice yeah, League where Lex Luthor and Flash swap minds. It's like, you are gonna wash your hands? No, because I'm evil. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna cling on to that little. This is a very small, cute Ferris go round. But yeah, we're gonna quickly. Yeah, it's like a cling on to go round. But yeah. There okay. you go. There we go. That was easy. Does, no, does nobody see this? These pants. I will say, though, it is a decent amount of animation they went into all this stuff, though. I don't know. I still find it very snappy. <gasps> the Ferris wheel is actually a big rotunda pump for the tar. Mm -hmm. No wonder it's so shrimpy. Long story short, he's pretty much polluting all the waters here so that people have no choice but to go to him to his, at his recital. Oh, yeah, he's trying to... Or, you know, they could just opera. stay inside. Yeah, well, all, well, all's fine and good until, you, until your sink starts spewing with um, tar. And oh. you have no water left. Okay, see you soon. Okay. I do, I do, so he's going to like force you to pay for his opera so he'll stop polluting the water? Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, see that key? Yeah, screw those freaking key missions. And remember that. We can just do that. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? It was just a weak lock. Well, that's the way if you must. Lock? Lock pick? Uh oh. Oh, that's. Oh, crap. He... Wow, Bentley was really ticked off by the fish. I mean, it's I as if he that's, is. That's a, that's a waste of livestock. It's it's as as Bentley. He could sympathize with the fish. That music is not doing good and. <laughs> well, sign our shields. Oh, oh my gosh. Ow. Well, well uh, that solved the problem pretty quickly. He's gonna feel that in the morning. Yeah. If there is and, a morning. Uh, those coins, though. Wow, with that, I, uh, I forget how fast these parts go. With that, we're already halfway done with all our missions here. Hooray! Holy yeah, shit, we're actually here. making a decent clip of progress. Yes, so join us for the sec. That's another thing, is that it's... This, not... Maybe it was a little... It was kind of hinted at in the second game, but more so in the third game. They outright say this is actually taking multiple days of work. So, uh, join us back not tomorrow, like physically, but in Sly Cooper time tomorrow for another day of missions. Another day, another dead thief. Till next time, guys. Nemo, you have been avenged.